Hello, I'm John Mark Stoudy, President and CEO of Riverside Resources. This is the third episode of John Mark's Geo Tutorial. Here we are at Sugarloaf Peak Project, where Riverside Resources is conducting a drill exploration program. Drilling is a key aspect in the exploration business, and today's Geo Tutorial will summarize some of the key aspects of drilling and give people first-hand experience into what it looks like to be doing drilling out on the deserts of Arizona. As you can see behind me, the drill rig is operating. But before we can drill, we have to do various different exploration techniques. Some of those have been covered in the earlier geo tutorials. In the last tutorial, we briefly covered the mapping and targeting process that leads to the planning of proposed drill sites. Here, you can see a three dimensional model of the Sugarloaf property showing gold assay contours in bright red and yellow on the surface. Drill holes with gold assays shown in red and yellow are represented by lines probing deep down into the earth. Images like these are used by geoscientists in conjunction with geologic surface and subsurface interpretations to get an idea of what areas have the highest potential for drill testing. Here at the Sugarloaf Peak project, the first stage in deciding on the drill plan is determining the orientation of the rocks. Here we can see brown and white layers, bands going across the geology. This is, gives us the orientation at which we want to drill perpendicular to these bands to test the thickness and orientation of the mineralization. Here on the outcrops, we can see the tilt of the rocks, the red and white bands of the geology. The drilling is drilled perpendicular across the stratigraphy to get the true thickness of the mineralization. That thickness of mineralization is then used in our economic modeling to determine what is economic, what is a deposit, and tell us then how deep to further drill in the exploration. The purpose of the drill campaign is to determine what's at depth. After the geologists have done the mapping and sampling on the surface, it's a time of truth when the drilling goes on and we have a target. The depth orientation is then tested with drill cores. The drill rig goes rod after rod, drilling cores down into the earth to get a sample of what's at depth. Here you can see an animated example of the spinning drill head cutting through the rock. The drill head cuts around the central core of rock that's periodically extracted through a central core barrel and provides a sample of what's at depth. In the next YouTube video, we'll show what happens to the drilling core at the moment it reaches the surface through the logging and sampling process. Thank you for joining us on John Mark's Geo Tutorial. In this episode, we've covered some of the key techniques, and we hope that you've now got some better insights into the methodologies used in drilling and exploration.